markets are always doing something. Most of the time, it's not interesting. But right now, looking at the dollar, trying to break to the downside, it does look interesting because this is happening at a time when the stock market is moving like this. Now, don't mistake, it's not all these stocks. Some of them are showing ye signs of weakness, like some of these which showed that before and then continued to the downside. So not all of these are actually bullish because when you look at all of this, yes, you will see a macro trend line, but on a short term horizon, what they are showing you right now is a little bit of weakness. Now, some of them are showing you massive weakness, but some like these are showing you signs of a little bit strength on the long term horizon. Now, what does this mean for us in crypto? Because it does tend to look at the fundamentals. It does tend to look at the macro scenario before it actually is moving up or down. So we as investors inside this asset class need to know what's happening. And that's where this gets really interesting. Look at the macro perspective for the Bitcoin. Then look at the macro perspective for XRP. Both of these actually does show us that we have came through a similar situation in the history. So if we say we are not smarter than history, and if we agree that we have a lot to learn from the history, this does give us some insights about what to anticipate in the near future. Welcome to the Scientific Investor Family, where the normal retail guys learn how to become the next top 10 percentage of this world. Now, looking at this chart, it's like last eight years, seven years, but Within that, look at the moving averages. It gives you a lot of information saying where the price is actually moving, whether it's becoming bullish, whether it's going bearish or not. But look at the 200 day moving average. When that's slowing down to the upside and starting a corrective movement, usually you put in the bottom and you're starting a new run. But that's not only the one thing which you need to focus on this area and this area it's also the percentage which the price is lower here the moving average and the price has a difference of negative 56 percentage so the price is 50 percentage lower than the 200 day moving average then again you come here by 2019 and you see this again negative 50 percentage so the price is down 50 percentage from the 200 day moving average. So right now you are trying to learn from the history and put that into perspective about where we are. And it clearly shows us that we are 50 percentage down from the 200 day moving average. So it kind of gives us a narrative of understanding. Okay, last couple of times in last seven years, when we have seen these, it did show us a run to the upside is coming. It can be one run and then a consolidation. It can be one run and a wild correction. All of this is a possibility. But regardless of these, one thing which is common inside both of them is that the price actually moves higher first and then consolidate. The price moves higher first and then consolidate. So right now we have not yet started a move like that. So if you look at this, here you went up to test the previous level here where the moving average was trying to dominate the price. So that would be somewhere here. If you look at the history, you get it clean, the moving average trying to dominate the price from the upside acting as a resistance. So the price went up to test that level. So for us right now, that level is close to $30,000, $32,000. Right now, Bitcoin is like 16,000. So it's like 100 percentage move as possible in Bitcoin. Fine. So that's all on Bitcoin. Now, from that Bitcoin view, when you zoom in, you do get the narrative that you do correct heavily, like 70 percentage, 77 percentage inside a cycle and 85 percentage for the entire cycle. So the corrective waves have been so brutal. A lot of us are depressed. Agreed. 
Now we take that same perspective towards XRP. 200 day moving average and the price 60 percentage down as where the price was last time before it started a new trend. Right now, if you compare the same, we have already put in 62. Now that's somewhere close, 61.8 and 62.39. It kind of shows you like we are following the history in one way or the other. Now on this three day chart, looking at last five, six years, it does give us a clue that when the moving average is slowing down, moving down, and the price is massively down from the moving average, the 200 day moving average, it is kind of making a bottom. Now, to confirm that, yes, we need to see this trend line breaking to the upside and being retested. This trend line breaking to the upside and retesting. That will give us more certainty about the same argument saying, okay, we are right now looking for a great run to the upside. But what's the negative side of this? This is market. It's all probability. Whether we move to the upside like this, or we actually see a corrective wave again in the market is kind of something which we all have to look at because inside this market when we look at it right now we do see some asset showing significant corrective possibility if they break a level and they are right now testing that level so it's really important you understand that this particular asset if it's in your portfolio it can create a red flag if it drops even three to five percent now that is something you need to keep in mind. Now we come back to XRP. Are we at similar state? I do not think so because on the horizontal level, you have multiple support as you drop. So if you break this trend line, now you have first support close to 0 0.3 to 0 0.33, and then the next one close to 0 0.3. So you do have a lot of support, which is historically valid. Now you just extend that line and you see like, okay, that has been a massive support resistance zone for XRP over the years. Now that's like last five, six years, not just a year from now. So we do expect that to stay relevant and the price to bounce because the macro side of this does look a lot better. Look at this. This is the fundamentals growing. 7.3 7 million XRP is the new record. So the NFT side of this is also getting volume is also getting attention so when the market do these things on the fundamental side we do have to understand okay the macro is slowing down us has been seeing cpi dropping now it's pain so you are watching that now the central bankers have some room to say okay we are dropping in terms of inflation we may not actually have to push much higher the rates now we can pause or start thinking about slowing down we may reach that point because we, they are now looking for a 2 to 3 percentage inflation rate for next year. Maybe first quarter next year we may reach there or the second quarter. Which is like, okay, if they do another high, it's going to do over extended correction in the market. And some of these are signaling that, right? Some of these big cap coins, if they're not getting back up into the zone, it's like flashing red signal saying, okay, we are going much lower. So the one thing which we all keep in mind here is that yes, the market is showing you different signs. Even the gold is now inside this pattern, which is not bullish at a time when the dollar is showing you, I'm in break to the downside. Now, if it bounces, that is a different story. If it actually bounces, then it's trying to break to the upside. It can go test these levels. That will be painful, agreed. But when we are in the market and we are looking at how the market is moving, yes, some of these projects are showing you negative signs. Yes, some of these projects are actually showing you things does not add up. When you look for details in the market and you're trying to dig deep, you're like, okay, this does not actually look good. The way these guys are moving is negative. Then you come look at strong projects, which are extended into all the markets show you different signs saying that we are expanding we are growing this is the phase for growth this is the time to build when the market is down right so these leaders actually give us an idea that yes they are working hard on this project a lot more new developers are entering into the space a lot of new use cases are being built on top of this ledger so the fundamentals are not deteriorating. Instead, it's getting stronger. Fine. 
But the price action is what a lot of us are here for. Mainly, we do believe in the technology, but we understand that with time, the value of this asset is going to reflect in the price. And we believe that it is undervalued right now. And that's why we are waiting in this asset to watch that it is going higher. Fine. Now, if we say that the asset XRP is in a market which is all coins which is priced in as of now it's not the main coin this actually clearly shows us if the all coin market is to drop to test these lows xrp can also drop now we have seen these days where we had massive volatility and then going back into the same range so that is still a possibility unless we break this trend line so going back we do see a lot of different assets showing like a I'm having this pattern, which is a bullish pattern falling wedge, but I'm breaking to the downside. So that's like, okay, I'm adding to my negative momentum. Now you may have this as a support, but usually the price wicks even lower. So there are assets like this in the market, which is showing you that a bullish pattern is being broken to the downside. So the sellers are overweighing the buyers, even in a bullish pattern which is not actually that great for an asset like this having that much level of fundamentals now yes we do know that some of these assets which have a long-term trend line which is trending inside that shows you that the rsi is bouncing and there is a possibility that the rsi is going to go up and there is still a massive possibility that the price is going to go higher it may actually reach our all-time high it may not reach this level. Now, these are technical side of this, right? Historically, you do reach the top. But here, now we are putting that perspective in that you had your wave one, you had your wave two. Now, if you're going for the wave three, will you really go that high? So this is not only the market and the technical analysis. This is your experience, your learning ability being in practice. So you're taking that anything which you learned in the market, and trying to put that into perspective. So wave three in some assets do tend to give you massive ROI. But now the question is, can that massive ROI be like 70X in an asset which has already done this high? No one knows, but the probability for that is lower. So if you are in an asset like this, you are waiting to take your profits. You're waiting for an all time high and a price action signal to take your profit. So trend lines do matter. Trend lines give you an understanding of what's evolving. Now, inside the same trend line, if you focus, you have a short-term pattern which may signal a little bit of alert. Great. You have a shoulder ahead and another shoulder. Unless you break this level of shoulder, it's not invalidated. And if you go about this, yes, that pattern, short-term pattern is invalidated and the long-term trend prevails. So this is something you all have to keep in mind. Now, then we go on to the BTC payoff things. This is XRP versus BTC. And we are looking at a pattern which is still holding. Here, for us, the trend line is showing that we are moving to the upside. But the concern part of that is like, if we drop, we have room to the downside. That's the hard part. Even though we are oversold to the downside here in the price action compared to the highs we still have a little bit of room to move to the downside but what we want to see which the market this is not showing us is a break to the upside that this pattern break to the upside now we all want to watch that but the issue right now is that the market has been so brutal most of us even forgot about the bullish days and that's how usually when the real bulls start if you remember last time when we actually started running up the market was not that bullish even at this point in time when kodano iota and a lot of assets were following this people thought this is a fake run and you are not going higher you're going to come back down and that's when you actually saw the way one inside all these assets so now when you go back in xrp comparing it with the altcoin market so we are just using the ether for the time being we actually recognize that we broke higher from a long-term trend line this is like a year you broke that one you are now staying above it but the issue is you have a macro trend line which is like last four five years 
trending here acting as a resistance. But the positive sign is that either negative for ether or positive for XRP is that we are not dropping back into this range. This is now becoming a support and it is showing you that the RSI is also forming a trend line which is rising. That trend line actually show you that it has strength and it's at a support which usually signals that we have upside. So if we are going to do that, either Ether is going to drop massively or XRP is going to outperform Ether in the run up. We are holding this level and if you extend this level of support resistance, you do understand we've been below that for some time. Now we are above that and holding it as a support. Trying to put in a double bottom signal, you know, a double bottom, we call it a win, W for the win, is now in formation. We don't have the confirmation yet, but the price and the market is trying to put that in. But it's not only that, it's happening at a short term support close to the long term trend line resistance. So if we get a break to the upside, now that signals a massive change in price action. That's going to erase a long term. Now, if you all know the mean reversion in that theory or inside almost all the markets, we usually see the prices reverting to the mean. Great. Now, in this arena, which is XRP to Ether, if we look at this, we've spent a lot of time above this trend line. We spend a lot of time close to this trend line. We are spending a lot of time below this trend line. Now, what do you expect? I personally think this is going to come back to this trend line and test this range. That is going to be a huge possibility. And when that happens, XRP price is going to bounce higher. Keeping this structure in mind, we do understand there is a lot of possibility to make profit, but with time and patience. Because on the other side of the market, it does show you that there is things which are deteriorating. You, now, I don't have anything to do with this particular individual, but I think this video is interesting as he takes you through different things in history and gives you the clarity of what happened previously, what is the possibility in this market segment. So if you are looking for something to buy right now, this can be a good side which can support you financially because that market can also drop heavily, which actually coincides with the forced selling in the stock market which can come into your real estate portfolio as well. So guys, if you are receiving value for your time, please do hit that like and subscribe button. And if you have another five to 10 minutes more, please do visit this channel of mine where we talk about life, success, and wealth creation. So that's it for today, guys. I'll meet you on the next video. Bye-bye.